is Cody Brown, and welcome to Budget Astro. For all my returning subscribers, welcome back. And for anyone new, welcome to the channel. Please consider subscribing and liking the video. Maybe leave a comment and let me know how I'm doing. Today, I am proud to announce that I have bought new items for my astro photography setup. As you saw earlier, I bought the iOptron GEM28 and the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro. So in this video, I'd love to give you guys my first impressions of this gear that I got. First off, the iOptron GEM28. It is stout, robust, with a capacity of 28 pounds, which is way beyond anything that I need. It tracks extremely well, unguided, and even better guided. So far while using this, I have had great, great guiding underneath one pixel with my current guide scope setup, which equates to about one and a half arc seconds of error, which is fantastic. So to say that I'm happy with this new mount that I got is an understatement. I am beyond happy with this thing. Now for the camera, the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro. I am very, very happy with this camera. For the price I paid for it at 900 US, it is a fantastic camera. It's very capable, extremely low read noise. And with that low read noise, I have yet to have used calibration frames for my images because I just haven't seen the need to. Now, the reason why I went with the ZWO ASI 533MC Pro because I already had the 178, but the 178 has a such small sensor that it makes it difficult to get wide field targets with it. So I needed something with a larger sensor and to open up the capabilities of shooting larger objects in the night sky without having to create mosaics. I've actually created a nickname for my 178 now. I am now calling it my Galaxy Killer Camera, and that's primarily going to be its function in my astrophotography setup. Now, a lot of you guys may be wondering to yourselves, hey, Cody, this stuff doesn't seem very budget friendly. And to be honest, even for me, it wasn't. I had to save a lot of money to be able to put down for this equipment. You know, maybe some people out there might say, hey, that's not a lot of money for Astro. And to be honest, if you look at, you know, what some people have bought in, and are doing with their astrophotography setup spending over ten thousand dollars on just a telescope alone this is not a lot of money in astro but yes for me this was not budget friendly there came a point though when i realized that i had hit a cap with my astrophotography i felt like my equipment that i was using was holding me back from achieving greater images. And so over this winter, I started saving my money, getting ready for this fairly large purchase. So that way I could have better equipment to be able to progress further with my astrophotography journey. So a little side note here, did I need to buy this equipment? No, but I felt it was time to progress further with my astrophotography journey, get better images with some better equipment you know, granted, this isn't NASA equipment still, but we're getting up there, you know. This is some very high quality equipment with great capabilities, and I can't wait to see what I continue to get as I develop more skills, more time, more integration into some of these objects and see what's really out there in space. Now, I would like to equate this into a some sort of life lesson in saying that I wish astrophotographers would take a step back, think about it. If you're frustrated about something, don't quit. Learn, get better. And if you feel that your equipment is holding you back, save some money, buy equipment that you know will help you get better. If you're being held back by tracking, buy a new mount. If you're being held back by your camera itself, get a new camera. It takes time to save the money up. 
but be patient. The stars will be there forever. You know, say you were really excited about getting the please. Well, it'll be there next year. Like as of right now it's setting, but it'll be up this, this coming fall and you'll have time again. One of the biggest struggles with astrophotography is patience. Be patient with your setup, be patient with yourself. Take the time to learn and great things will come. So to conclude, I'd like to say that I am absolutely excited to share with you guys my journey, my new equipment that I just got, and the new processes that will come from this in future videos, being able to teach you guys, being able to teach myself on how to become a better astrophotographer. Until next time, clear skies.